When you solve an equation, what you are doing is finding the value or values of x that make an equation true. Before solving it, the equation is what's called a conditional equation, which is another way of asking, for what values of x is this equation true? Here's an example. The equation 2x plus 3 equals 17 is a conditional equation. The equation is true for only one value of x. Solving the equation is finding the value of x that makes the equation true. Here is the solution, x equals 7. When you solve the equation and you find the correct value for x, you can follow one more step. Go back to the original equation and plug in the value you found for x. Simply plug in 7 into the original equation and simplify. As you can see, when x equals 7, the conditional equation becomes a true equation. Yet, there are times when solving an equation results in more solutions than expected. In these cases, one of the solutions may not result in a true equation. Let's look at an example. Here is an equation. The square root of the quantity x plus 4 equals x minus 8. To solve for x, first square both sides of the equation. The term on the left becomes x plus 4. The term on the right expands into a quadratic expression. Now combine all terms to one side of the equation, as shown. The result is a quadratic equation. It can be factored into the product of two binomials, as shown. There are two solutions, x equals 5 and x equals 12. Let's circle back and plug in these solutions into the original equation. For x equals 12, the solution results in a true equation. However, for x equals 5, the solution does not result in a true equation. This means that x equals 5 is an extraneous solution. Here's another way of looking at this equation. One way to solve equations is to treat each side of the equation as a separate function. Graph each function and find where they intersect. The intersection is the solution. As you can see, the graphs intersect at only one point, where x equals 12. So, where does the extraneous solution come from? Going back to the original equation, the square root term also has a negative root, as shown here. By convention, with square roots we use the positive root. But the graph of the negative root reveals the extraneous solution. With this graph, the extraneous solution is revealed for x equals 5.